Hi maths fans, pie charts, calculating the angle. How do we calculate the angles that we draw on a pie chart? So if we've got some data, um, here we have uh, a survey, 120 people were given five choices of their favorite Southampton footballer, 50 people said Danny Ings, 45 people said James Ward-Prowse, 15 Yannick Vestergaard, five Chadhams, five Deer Walcott. So there's our data. I want to draw that in a pie chart, and to do that, I need to calculate the angles. So, how do we do that? We use this. The angle equals the frequency divided by the total frequency and times by 360. So, basically, we find the fraction and then multiply it by 360 to do that fraction of a whole circle, a pie chart, a circle. So in this uh, case, let's do uh, for Danny Ings there, uh, the fraction, the fraction of people that said Danny Ings, well that was 50, said him, out of 120. Can't quite squeeze a perfect fraction in there, but 50 out of 120 is the fraction there. For Ward Prowse, 45 out of 120, and then 15 out of 120. You can see the fraction is always out of the total amount. And then we want to turn that into an angle and we do that by multiplying by 360. If 50 out of 120 is the fraction, what fraction is that on a circle? We'll times it by 360 and it will give you that fraction of a circle. So that's all we do. And that times 360 is going to give me 150. This times 360, 45 over 120 times 360 is going to give me uh, 135, then I'm going to get 45, then I'm going to get 15, and then I'm going to get 15. And that's it. That's how we uh, calculate angles on a pie chart. It's the frequency out of the total, write that fraction, and then do that times 360 degrees. And there it is.